Wait, what? Oh. Control flow, deferrable views, faster builds. I, I can't believe, I can't believe that you get all this and so much more in the latest version of Angular. Let's talk about it. During the Angular v17 developer event, the Angular team introduced Angular.dev, the new future home for Angular developers. The new site features revamped documentation, a new in-browser tutorial system, and even a general coding playground where you can try out Angular right in the browser while you learn. Now, what if I told you that there's more? Hopefully you believe me because, well, Angular has been evolving rapidly over the past few years, and we've decided to reflect this with a modern visual identity and logo. Now, this crisp new logo represents our current efforts and future priorities. To learn more, head over to angular.dev, but listen, don't touch the walls. We just finished painting the place. Back in V16, we began improving the server-side Angular story by introducing hydration into developer preview. Since then, we've been putting our best efforts in to improve the experience even further. So today, I am really happy to announce that hydration in Angular is now stable and ready for production use in your applications. But wait, Here's what's absolutely awesome. We've also made some important updates to Angular's hybrid rendering experience. Hybrid rendering allows you to client-side render your apps, render them on the server, or pre-render them. This is also known as SSG. Starting in V17, you can create applications with hybrid rendering from the start using NGNU and the new SSR flag. But we didn't stop there. If you forgot to use the flag, don't worry, we've updated the CLI to prompt you as well. There's also ESM support for server builds. Builds are getting faster for server bundles, and we can't forget that we've even shown some love to the dev server for SSR. Get ready to take control flow in your templates to the next level with the new control flow syntax that's in developer preview right now. Angular developers can now use built-in syntax for if, for and switch. Now there's nothing to import, just ready to use in your templates. Now what's even more awesome here is that using the new for syntax can increase performance significantly, like seriously, like up to 90% faster in certain cases. Now we've also released new migrations to help ease your path to using this new syntax. Run ng generate at angular forward slash core colon control dash flow. Wait, what? There's more. There's more features to tell them about. Whew, by the time I finish this video, it is going to be an hour long, but that's all right, friends. Let's do a lightning round of some of these other updates that are available as a part of this release. New apps built with the CLI will be standalone by default. No flag is needed. ES Build and Vite are now enabled by default, so you get to enjoy the performance improvements right out of the box for your new apps. Now, some enterprise partners have reported a 67% build time improvement. That's really awesome, right? I think so too. But wait, combine this with SSR and SSG, you can get up to 87% speed improvements in NG Build and 80% faster edit refresh loop for NG Serve. DevTools gets a much requested feature. You can now inspect your dependency injection graph with the latest updates, making debugging so much better. You can now do custom input transforms, and we're even giving you a few built-in like Boolean attribute and number attribute, saving you some precious coding time by not having to implement these yourself. We've added a new styles and style URL property to accept strings because, well, developers rarely use more than one style sheet, but we're keeping both formats just in case you need them. All right, that's enough. Too many updates, too many new features, I get it. But hey, if you wanna know more, you can find out more in the release notes and the Angular blog at blog.angular.io. Angular's renaissance is upon us and the momentum is real. Now be sure to check out all these new features and let us know what you think. What do you like? What do you love? What do you want more of? Let us know in the comments and we really can't wait to hear from you. All right, friends, that's it from us on the Angular team, but not the end of your Angular story. So you get out there and go build great apps. Take good care. Cut, that's a wrap. Thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's for you. Did y'all like this heavy chain? No, I went heavy for this one. See, I'm gonna get the monitor. Oh, crap, that boy, that boy clean. He's real clean. All right, cut it.